नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम टू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग एंड दी हाईलाइट ऑफ द ब्रीफिंग इज वन इज दी हीट वेव टू सीवियर हीट वेव कंडीशन वेरी लाइकली टू प्रवेल ओवर द प्लेन्स ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट फाइव डेज एंड हीट वेव कंडीशन विल बी सीन ओवर पार्ट्स ऑफ ईस्ट इंडिया एंड मध्य प्रदेश एंड गुजरात स्टेट ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट थ्री टू फोर डेज एंड ओवर द साउथ पेनिसुलर इंडिया हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी वेरी लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू मेनली ओवर दी तमिलनाडु केरल साउथ इंटीरियर कर्नाटका एंड कोस्ट कर्नाटका एंड इवन द एक्सट्रीमली हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी इज लाइकली ओवर द केरला एंड तमिलनाडु पर्टिकुलरली ऑन 19th 20th एंड 21st ऑफ मे ओवर द एज फार एज द साउथ वेस्ट मानसून इज कंसर्न द साउथ वेस्ट मानसून इज वेरी लाइकली टू एडवांस ओवर द साउथ अंडमान सी सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द साउथ ईस्ट बे ऑफ बंगाल एंड सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द निकोबार आइलैंड्स अराउंड 19th ऑफ मे एंड ओवर द साउथ वेस्ट बे ऑफ बंगाल ए लो प्रेशर एरिया इज वेरी लाइकली टू फॉर्म अराउंड ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ऑफ मे एंड दिस लो प्रेशर एरिया वेरी लाइकली टू मूव नियरली नॉर्थ ईस्ट वर्ड्स एंड कंसनट्रेट इन टू ए डिप्रेशन ओवर द सेंट्रल पार्ट ऑफ बे ऑफ बंगाल अराउंड ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ मे and yesterday heavy to very heavy rainfall was reported over the meghalaya and over the tamil nadu and heavy rainfall was recorded over the assam arunachal pradesh coastal andhra pradesh rayalaseema south interior karnataka coastal karnataka and the kerala and over the west madhya pradesh and the madhya maharashtra hail storm activity was reported and yesterday the severe uh, heat wave uh, and the heat wave conditions prevailed over the most parts of the west rajasthan and heat wave conditions prevailed over the many parts of punjab haryana uh, east rajasthan and over the some parts of delhi uttar pradesh bihar and the gujarat state and if you look for the maximum temperatures then yesterday the maximum temperatures were in the range of 42 to 44 degree centigrade over the many parts of the rajasthan some parts of punjab many parts of haryana delhi uttar pradesh and some parts of the bihar and some parts of the gujarat state also and over the इट आइसोलेटेड पॉकेट्स ओवर द पंजाब हरियाणा उत्तर प्रदेश एंड राजस्थान एंड गुजरात स्टेट मैक्सिमम टेम्परेचर्स आल्सो क्रॉस्ड 45 फाइव डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड दिस टेम्परेचर्स वेरी लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू टू बी इन द सेम रेंज इन द अपकमिंग फाइव डेज ओवर द इंटायर नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया ओवर द सेंट्रल इंडिया एंड ओवर द ईस्ट इंडिया दीज मैक्सिम टेम्परेचर्स लाइकली टू बी इन द रेंज ऑफ थर्टी नाइन टू फोर्टी टू डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड इन द अपकमिंग फाइव डेज एंड इफ यू लुक फॉर द हीट वे वार्निंग देन एज वी कैन सी इन दीज मैप मैप्स दैट heat wave conditions very likely to continue to prevail over the entire northern parts of the country especially punjab haryana and the west rajasthan very likely to experience heat wave to severe heat wave conditions over the many parts during all the five days so we have issued the red alert for the punjab and haryana for the next three days and for the west rajasthan for the next uh, five days over the east uh, rajasthan and over the uttar pradesh and bihar heat wave to severe heat wave conditions very likely to prevail over the some parts during next 5 days so we have issued the orange alert for the east rajasthan for all the 5 days for the uttar pradesh and bihar for the next 3 days and from 22nd of may onwards there will be some uh, uh, some relief from the heat wave conditions particularly over the east uttar pradesh and bihar and over the gujarat state and the madhya pradesh heat wave conditions at one or two places very likely to continue all the five days yellow alert has been issued for the gujarat and madhya pradesh and over the east india mainly over the gangetic west bengal and the jharkhand the heat wave conditions will be seen uh, from tomorrow onwards for the subsequent two days and over the odisha also heat wave conditions will be seen on 21st and 22nd of may yellow alert has been issued if you look for the today's main chief synoptic features then over the south peninsular india a cyclonic circulation live over the south interior uh, tamil nadu which extends up to up to the middle tropospheric levels and the a trough runs from south chatisgarh up to the south interior karnataka across the telangana and rayalaseema and another trough runs from the interior parts of the maharashtra up to the cyclonic circulation over the south interior karnataka and over the northeast india a uh, cyclonic circulation lies over the north east uh, assam and the lower levels and over the northern parts of the country a trough runs from northwest uttar pradesh up to the 
northern parts of the Bangladesh in the lower tropospheric levels and over the uh, uh, northwest India a cyclonic circulation lies over the northeast Rajasthan and drop runs from this area up to the northern parts of the Madhya Maharashtra and because of the uh, synopt and even over the uh, southwest Bay of Bengal a low pressure area is likely to form around 22nd of May and because uh, this low pressure area very likely to move nearly northeastwards towards the central parts of Bay of Bengal and concentrate into a depression over the central parts of Bay of Bengal around 24th of May and if you look for the uh, heavy rainfall warning because of these synoptic features then mainly the heavy rainfall uh, activity will be confined uh, over the south peninsular India in the all the five days and particularly uh, the Tamil Nadu and Kerala very likely to experience heavy to very heavy rainfall activity during all the five days so we have issued the uh, orange alert for the region and even on 19th of May 20th May and even on the 21st of May isolated extremely heavy rainfall where the rainfall uh, will be more than 20 centimeter at one or two places will also be seen over the Tamil Nadu and Kerala mainly on 19th 20th and 21st of May over the south interior Karnataka isolated very heavy rainfall activity is likely during next three days on, on 21st and 22nd of May only heavy rainfall will be seen over the south interior Karnataka and the coastal Karnataka likely to get heavy rainfall activity during all the five days and even the uh, south south coastal south odisha and it one or two places over the andhra pradesh also likely to get heavy rainfall activity on today and over the northeast india the heavy rainfall activity will be seen at one or two places during next three days including the sikkim area in and on 19th and 20th of may isolated very heavy rainfall activity is likely mainly over the uh, meghalaya region and over the uh, uh, lachadip area isolated heavy rainfall activity during next four days and over the uh, mainly over the uh, Nicobar Islands heavy rainfall will be seen on 20th May 21st May and 22nd of May so yellow alert has been issued if you look for the rainfall activity for the other parts of the country so as we have seen that mainly the light to moderate rainfall activity will be seen over the many parts of the peninsular India and many parts of the northeast India during all the five days and over the east India light rainfall activity along with the thunderstorm lightning and gusty wind 30 to 40 gmph will be seen during all the five days and over the central uh, over the central parts of the uh, country and adjoining parts of the maharashtra will also likely to get light rainfall activity and thunderstorm activity during next four to five days and mainly the plains of northwest india um, particularly punjab haryana uttar pradesh and rajasthan very likely to be dry during all the five days and even the madhya pradesh likely to be dry uh, from 20th may onwards over the western Himalayan region, Jambu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand likely to get light rainfall activity at one or two places during next three to four days and from 22nd of May onwards these areas also likely to be dry. For more detailed weather information you can visit the IMD website, you can follow us on our Facebook page, YouTube channel and our Twitter page. Thank you.